All right, all you devils, how we doing? Sam here with you on the 14th of January. And today, I thought this was actually a request from a member. We look at the, um, well, the, all the heavy hitters of tech, we'll call it. These are the, t the top seven that are really dragging, dragging the whole market with them. So this, we've got Netflix, Apple, Tesla, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and Amazon is what we're going to look through. Now, <clears throat> unfortunately, with, with most of these, not, not all, but most of these, They've gone so far here that we're just we're in a melt up phase to where you know the oh the large players in the market are gonna are gonna freeze you out right they're they're not gonna give you a retracement not, not, okay, we've got a little bit of a retracement here in in Netflix but for the most part th these are just straight up right so you, if you're a retracement trader like I am it's a long wait for a retracement. So let's just buzz through these here relatively quickly. So we'll start with Netflix. Now, almost all of these, you've got to go out to a three-day or a weekly and put them in log scale to see any sort of wave separation. And we'll, we'll just kind of move through them here r relatively quickly. So Netflix, and now we've been through it many times here. I, I think it's reasonable to assume that this, this section here is a third wave of some sort. So if we're, if we're thinking about the larger degree, again, I'm on a three-day chart and I am in log scale. So I'm going all the way back here to, to the 2002 low, one, two. It would appear that I've got three, some sort of a four going in before we continue on, you know, barring the unforeseen. Well, let's just leave it at that. <clears throat> I can get the subdivision here, right? I, I get a perfect from, from I, I'm just kind of looking for algo participation here. So from this two, I'm pulling to this pivot, which was obviously the deepest retracement we got. Now, I don't think it's, I don't think we're, this is the three relative to the one, two. I think it's the one, two, three, four. And now we're, we've got this massive extension in the fifth. But remember, an algo doesn't care about, they don't care about an Elliott count. We're just, we're looking for pivots that they may have used. So I can identify the 50 to the tick here. And, you know, just again, if you've watched my channel, you know this is no surprise. We get a reaction here at the first target. Now we just hit second target, and we're kind of working around the median line up here, drawing off of this, this set of pivots here that seems to contain the market rather nicely. So going from the three-day, let's get out of the eight-hour here. I think you can see this. Yeah, I, we can take it out of log scale here. Now, obviously, this all of this gets distorted here. But we've, if we look up here, this being the proposed five of the – it's way the hell up here when you have it in log scale. Now we, we do have this sideways action here, so it's a bit. It, so I don't I don't love this here. So it, it's questionable. So we, we do have an internal retracement. You note here I'm using this pivot here to just kind of mark off this this sideways range that we're stuck in, right? Very reminiscent of a of a ways of a wave four. Right. So, but it it's it, it's lacking enough clarity here to where. Well, here, let me let me start over. Let me rephrase this. See, I've got I've got a swing here and then I've got an internal retracement. We stay internal to this pivot. So as I move off of here, I, I've got a couple of things to contend with. I could have an ABC into a one and a very deep two, and now we'd be off into the into the one of the three. So and, and per that, then the four would be over here. But because we with the exception of this one little wick. We seem to be somewhat range bound here, so there's there's certainly the possibility that we have a W X going in, and we put in, or we could still be putting in a Y, right? So, but given the trend, that would be less likely. So it makes you think the Y could be in here, which could give you the W X Y. Now you gotta work with a with a double top in the B, so you'd be, of course, with an after the X, we're looking for an A B C to complete the Y. So it's a little, you know, how much confidence can you have in that, right? Because it could play either way. So working off of this low, well now, so our low here, you know, we're probably 254 and we're already up at, what are we up here now? 344, so already a pretty good move off of that. But if I go down even to a lower degree here and pop this open a bit, this price section here, again, is a little bit, questionable so if the if the ABC takes us to the four and the four is in here well with that pivot with, with this spike here and then the depth of the retracement your first thought would be one two but then from there I don't get an I don't get clarity as it, with an impulse so I can't go one two three it's not long well let me let me pull this up so you can see it so you're you're tempted right so looking at it you want to go oh one two right but we don't we don't get we're not far enough here and we don't have an impulsive structure i have an abc kind of structure so it may, then, then of course we've already had an overlap here so it makes you think 
okay, that can't be the three. So this could be an A, B, A, B, C of a B. And now we're going up. So it makes you think diagonal. So uh, if I, you know, forced to pick a count here, I'm inclined to think that I, I'm in the, in the midst of a diagonal going in as a leading diagonal of the one of the fifth. Again, right, so kind of just allowing for the strength of the, 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 of the trend in the market and the, I mean, the, the, the fact that the, the Fed is not going to let the market come down, right? I mean, it's, they're just not going to do it, right? They're going to do whatever is necessary to keep it going. So the one, two seems to make more sense in the context of the broader fundamental background. So if it's one, two, can't be the three. So I'm more inclined to think we've got a diagonal going. Now, the, it's conditional. So for the diagonal to work, we've got to, go, we've got to trade this as an A, B, C. But the condition now is that we, gotta, we have to come back and overlap that pivot. So is there a trade here? Well, <laughs> see, I wouldn't trade this myself because of the lack of clarity, even though I can see, right? So very, it's very, obviously it's very technical, right? Here, 50, we're already to and through first target. It just blew right through that. So are we going up to get some of these higher targets up here? I mean, it's certainly possible, but look, so we'd, we'd have to go A, B, C into the A, A, B, C into the B. Now, again, are we going A, B, C again? It seems to be what the market would imply. So your your expectation is I've got some sort of, you know, it's very skinny here. We'd go up here and then we'd come down and we'd have to get that. So I wouldn't want to be a buyer because I can't get any clarity on the count until I get a much deeper retracement that, that overlaps this one. So for me, there's just, there's too much uncertainty here as to where we are in the in this in this count and and what the next trade would be. Now, you so... Me, of course, you, I assume you know, right? So I'm a retracement trader. So I, I don't like to buy this as it's moving higher. I, so this this would have been too deep, right? So you can, all right. So th this, were, even if you were looking up here, right, with the break of the golden zone, break of the 786, I mean, everything is broke. So it looks like it goes 887. If I, oh, shit. Here I am trying to make these shorter and they never seem to work out. So we get just a few off from the 887. So we don't disqualify it as a one, two, but per the ABC, I, I'm more inclined to stick the four here, meaning I'm looking for a diagonal in the one. So thereby, if this is going to complete a leading diagonal in the fifth, well, so rather than try and chase the, the the last little legs here of the three, well, you know, if you if you project based on traditional swing relationships, there's not that much more potential there for the three before you'd be looking for something to come down into the four to the five. But then again, it's got to come deeper. So I, I don't like the idea here of buying the just just straight into the momentum because I really, what I'm waiting for is for this diagonal to finish. Well, one, confirm that it's a diagonal. Right? I mean, it's, you know, counts change, right? So let's confirm it's a diagonal. And then the trade would be the, the, the sell-off that follows before you have an opportunity to, with good risk reward, for the trend to continue to carry on to go up and get that fifth. And in this case, you'd be, you'd be getting into here what, what you'd believe at that time to be the, the third of the fifth of the larger degree, right? So potentially a big money-making wave with the implication being certainly we'd go off and challenge those highs. I mean, you see the algo targets right there. So perhaps uh, we're back here revisiting this with a deep dive in the, in the near term as we get some clarity as to where we are here. But right now, I just, I don't think uh, the, the odds play is not good. You've got even, even here, but we still aren't through the, well, granted, right, we got through it all here, but as we come back up, right, that golden zone potentially there, when you can see, right, you've got a lot of, a lot of resistance right here. We've got all this volume that ties to all of this, right? So we've got all of this resistance up here. I need to get more clarity here before I, I would put money at risk. I need this. Then I'm all over it. All right, let's keep moving because the goal here is to try and make these shorter and I don't know how successfully I'm doing that. Now here is a great, great example, right? This is just a complete rip your face off, melt up. No, no opportunity to get in. I mean, to, you look here and you go, well, how about that, right? Would, would we pull back, you know, from 270 to two to 257? This you're just being denied access is all that means, right? You you, you didn't get your you didn't get your VIP invite. They are not going to let you in. Well, I, I shouldn't say, I mean, sure, sure, shock, you can buy it, right? Obviously, you could just belong. But, I mean, look, look, what, look what you'd be buying it, right? So, we're, we're, look how hot we are in the eyes. I mean, I just think that's foolish. 
right? Me, right? A sense of I just can't. I cannot do it, right? It goes against 25 years of trading experience. I cannot buy that. Retrace it for me. I mean, I sure as hell be paying attention to some of these key pivots as potential support. I, I, I just, I can't buy that, right? The risk reward is just not. I, I can't. I can't do it. Right? It goes against every instinct in my body. I right? conditioned over 25 years of doing this. Cannot do it. Now. I'm not saying not for you to not do it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just, for, for my approach to technical trading, that's outside of what I would ever do. I just would never do it. Here, love it. All right, that was the last trade. All right, so we're, we're, we got to go back to, to June of 19, but where, where you had a technical trade. If I'm not mistaken, we have a golden corner pocket. All right, so, yeah, well, yeah, we tagged the 618. So we get this, that's, there's your last trade. On the three hour, there's a trade. That's what you, it looks like you had it twice, right? I think we did, did this in video, and I remember looking at this. All right, well, well, we don't quite make the golden zone here, but we get between the 50 and the 618. So the, if you miss this one, that was the, the last trade you had. After that, it's just, it's it's so parabolic. You can't, I, I gotta choose my wi words wisely here. I, I, I just, I couldn't buy that, right? It's just the risk is way too high, way too high. All right, so you, this is, you know, if you're not in, you're on the sidelines waiting for a retracement. All right, Tesla. Well, talk about a straight rip. Holy smokes. Well, so it's, it's interestingly, the Elliott count here is you know, it's hard, hard to miss. So, well, here, I'll, I'll pop it into log scale. So you can, you can work off of our absolute low here. I can go one, two. Looks like I've got three, four up for the five. So if I pull it out of log, I think it's, it can be actually a little bit easier to spot. So three A, B, C into the, into the four here. One, two, three, four. You got to work that little diagonal to get the five. Now we've been through this a couple of times in prior videos here, the W, X, Y. So we got A, B, C into the W. Oh well, shit, I should take that off. I know that's annoying. A, B, C into the W, A, B, C into the X. And then we go A, B, C to finish the Y of the two. So <clears throat> In, just in terms of wave relationships here. So if I just, I've just wicked off the absolute low, I go up to this pivot high of the proposed one. We come down, right? So in between the 50 and the 618, looks like this is, this, this cluster may have been part of that, of that action here. You can see we're coming down to the edge of the volume, of the volume profile here, the value zone, although we don't, you know, yes, I guess we do. Right? So if we look, look here, right, there's the edge, there's the value zone, right? So that's, we were just rounded with 68.2 or 70% depending on how you got set. I think mine's at 68.2. So I get the entire values on. So you think like a bell curve, right? So there's your one standard deviation. So from the low here, that's an ideal spot for the two. Look at that, right? So I mean, what, what did we get here? So that was 177 to 550. Incredible, right? Just incredible. Don't want to bet against Elon. Okay, so with that, you know, to, where, where's your way in, right? This this was your last opportunity to get in. Really, it was down here, All right? You had you had the ABC, the one two, but that you know again, I I can't buy that, right? I wouldn't I wouldn't go near that until we get a retracement. Because right now the question is, wh what have I got there? Where am I in the count, right? So if that's if this is one two, and you're looking for three at a one six one eight, which you know put us up here at seven seventy, well that's not the three. All right, so that implies that we're just putting in the one before going to up up much higher. So you, know, you see, we're we're pausing here. That's all that we can really say, right? We've got some news in the markets today, of course. So we've got we've got a little pause here. You can make a case for that for for this to have completed a five here because you can see the impulse right now. Nothing says we have to stop here, right? That this could keep going, and we're that we we could easily be pushing the three up here and the four, and we're kind of re reworking the whole thing. So you've you've got some you know some variability here in terms of how this resolves before you'd have any confidence in. But either way, I mean you, you can certainly make a case for pretty strong support down there. So should we get any sort of retrace to come down to that level, whether this is ends up being counted this way, which would which would be more ideal if you're looking for an opportunity to get into the long. Right. Well, now you're just you're hoping that you've got some opportunity to come down here to give you a chance to buy into that structure, right? So that would be solid support there, low volume node, before you'd go up for something like that. So again, I can't buy that, but I will sure be on my watch list waiting for any sort of retracement. All right, moving on, Google. Uh, well, so so as you guys know here, when it switched to Alphabet, we have this change here. So here's the 215 low. 
So this looks like, again, same thing, right? Just rip your face off. You're not, they're not going to let you in. Here was your last opportunity to get in. All right, and that, that's what makes, you know, that, that's the challenge here because the market starts coming down. You're like, well, shit, man, it's going straight down. I don't want to buy that. That's when, when you want to buy it. You don't want to buy it now. I wouldn't, again, just like Apple, I, or no, I wouldn't touch that. And I, I completely understand that that could keep going, right? Just the risk profile doesn't work for me. So I, I will just let it, at some point, there'll be a retracement. It'll come, right? It's, I mean, we, we could be shit, you know, we could be at 2,000 before it comes. But right now, I just, I can't buy it. I, I would advise against it, right? That's just my opinion, my, my, my personal opinion. And now, anything back here, we get a retracement, you know, it looks more interesting. But just buying the all-time high, not for me. Facebook, very similar here. We got to get a three. Now, this, right, we've looked at this before. It does look like we have an expanded flat here, right, to allow for that to finish it, right, because we can get an impulse here. Um, let's open it up here again. I'm out here on a three-day. Uh, we don't need to stay in log here as we go into that. Let's go down to the daily. It does look like I've got an impulse at one, two. So uh, if proposed four here. Let's just come up. Proposed four here. All right, 50 to the tick, right? No surprise. We've got the target here. So one, two. Again, looks like one, two, and we're going up. So we've got higher targets here for the three. Again, I, I, I wouldn't touch that. I wouldn't go near it. Microsoft until there's a retracement. Same thing. Just you know, what, what? How do you, how do you get in here? There was your last. You know, maybe you can make a case. Well, at least you had a little ABC right there. So at least you had the little three wave structure. You had that. So one, two, three, four, five, four. That see, this this looks very much like a four. So you'd back into it, thinking, okay, we're still in the fifth because I can go one, two, three, four, five. Well, let's let's do it. So this looks like one, two, three, four, five going in. Obviously, that's way too high. So you'd, you'd work backwards. So if this is going to be your four, you kind of got to dig it out of there. One, two, looks like this ha would have to be the four of the three. So it looks like you'd have to do it this way. One, two, three, four. Jesus Christ. Do we have to extend that? I think we do. So let's go... Go sub minuet and let's get uh, we'll go to light blue. So let's think about that. So the one one two. Now part of the reason I do that is because I can just eyeball it and look here and go. All right, well, so here here would be the two six one eight, which was kind of an extreme. So how am I going to accommodate? Where am I going to put that ABC, which is obviously significant in this count? One two three four. See, there's 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 no other retreat. There's no other place that's good to go here for the two. Right, so I, I've got to work the two here. Three, boy, if you want to get this, that's, that's a toughie, right? So you, you, this cannot be a two, right? So that is just too much like a triangle. So I can't have the two there. All right, one, two, three. Well, we could do it this way. We could do, this is the three. Let's take that up a degree. Okay, so I think we'd have to back into this, this way. So this has to be the four. So we'd have to come down a degree. Let's go to... Uh, We'll just go to yellow. So you'd have to go one, two, three, four, five. Let's get you down to sub. All right, so one, two, one, two, three, four, up for the five, so I can get this to be my four, because I want that, that sideways action, very typical four, and then coming out of that, yet I go again. All right, so looking up for a five here. So again, no, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't even think about buying that myself. And so just you know, they're they're gonna lock you out, right? And until until there's a deeper retracement, no soup for you. Okay, Amazon will finish up here now. At least we've had a little bit of pullback here. Now let's go. Well, this Amazon, you've got to go. Let's go out to the weekly, and you gotta you gotta look at it in log. So you gotta pull the thing together this way. So one, two. Obviously, so you can see right this this the set of. Uh, Median lines here seems to frame it rather nicely. So I've got a shift on this to accommodate the, the steepness of this, of the one relative to the two. So we're seeking up here. Now, this would not be uncommon to have this hovering around the median line as we're putting in a four. So again, still, you know, we're at, we're here at two, Jesus, 2000. What, what was our high here? 2081. 
So this something, you know, kind of going sideways here wouldn't be surprising. So if you had anything to give you just a little bit of a chance to get something even like that, maybe you take a trade on that. But again, you know, you're buying up here at these extremes. I know, right? So you keep saying, how high, how high can it go, right? It's, it's, hard, it's hard to buy it here. So it's kind of that same thinking. Give me, give me something. If I go to the daily, we can take it out of log now. So looking at this, pull this out here. That looks like five. So it looks like we're doing five, three, maybe, maybe something down here to give us a better entry for the four. Well, let's open that up a little bit. So you can see the five here. So I'm, I want to put the A here. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like that's our play here into the A wave. You'd have to go A, B, C into the B, right? So we double top essentially on the B. And are we starting down for the C? Well, if that's the case, you'd be looking for something along these lines. Three, four, five five maybe if we're lucky and get an opportunity to buy it a little bit lower so you'd be after this a b and we'd be looking for the c down here and there's your opportunity to buy amazon but we're talking about 1200 now how likely is that given the strength of the market well don't try and outthink the market right that's generally a bad idea what does the technical tell you well there we are just tagging the golden zone so one perfect location for a two but also a perfect location for a b right so but per yeah you'd have to go a b c into that b so is this going to finish down here and give us a, a c for a four well remains to be seen seems if you think about it you're like well shit, what, what's going to take amazon down I don't know what what took it down here. Right? So this was what was that was December of eighteen. Now we do have earnings coming up. Oh shit! Did we get through? Oh, pardon me. We've got. Come on, over that. Well, pardon me. We've just had earnings. Oh, excuse me. The thirty first of January. So we have earnings coming. I thought it was still coming. So we've got earnings coming. You know, you got two weeks to earnings. I, boy, I, I, I would I would like it so much better if we if we, we could just drift a little bit lower down here or something just just drift a little bit lower prior to earnings rather than just you know take the risk here even if you bought calls up here everything all the premium in in these tech names is so inflated I mean very dangerous to be a buyer of any option premium up here because you're paying for all of this volatility I again, Right, it's just it's just the, the risk profile of the trade just goes against my grain here. So if I could get it to drift a little bit lower going into earnings, then maybe there's an options play there. Or, you know, even the straight stock, right? I mean, assuming you're, you're comfortable parking some money there, waiting for new highs. But until then, I think you got to just approach with caution because it's just very dangerous trading up here. Just to, well, look what that happened today. I don't know if you guys saw what happened in the futures market off of the off of the China, God, how many times has that moved the market, right? Off of the China deal story, right? So, man, I just, it sure tanked the market, you know, for day traders, right? There was just a huge event. But a little drift lower, I like it. Up here at these highs, too uncertain, right? Oh, I certainly wouldn't want to buy it into a golden zone. So, you, you know, my view would, you'd have to at least wait and see if we get that target, right? Then maybe, maybe, maybe you're back here thinking, okay, well, if we, perhaps I've got an algo play here. If we were to come down here and get something like this, now, is that likely to be the third? No, but maybe I've got an A, B, some sort of a, I mean, we could count this a couple of different ways. You could probably back into this. You could probably get a, do we need to break that pivot? We don't want the X to break that pivot. See, again, it's just it's too unclear. So I, I, I like it a little bit lower. Essentially, here's where you're stuck, right? Between these two golden zones. Right? Until we get some clarity as to which way we're going here, or at least how, how if, if we're going to retrace off of that, what happens at this golden, I, I think you just the risk is just very high. So I'd avoid it until there's more clarity here. I don't think that that's not likely to be our three. So something like this, this would have to be an ABC. So maybe you're back here going WXY, although oh, that's awfully high for the X. Again, when in doubt, you stay out, right? It just, even though it's like, God, nothing's going to stop this. 
as soon as you start thinking, oh, this is easy money, as soon as it looks easy, I can absolutely fucking guarantee you it's not going to be easy. It, 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 there is no easy money. So if it looks easy, it, every all your spidey senses should be going off, right? There, no, it's not, it's not that easy. It's just not. Right? So I'd be very cautious about buying up here at these levels. All right, I've gone on too long. So much for making them shorter. All right, guys, we'll wrap here. We've got uh, crypto coming up tomorrow and some new things to show you about kind of an update on Trade Devils 2.0. All right, if you stayed this long, I appreciate you staying with me. We'll be back to you tomorrow.